Today we are going to discuss some gate problem that is asked in Mechanical Engineering 2018 and it is based on the topic Kinetics of Rigid Bodies. So why this problem I am going to discuss because this problem is a little bit tricky problem because the data which is required is not given directly. So this problem we will see on your slide you can see a force of 100 Newton is applied to the center of a circular disc of mass 10 kg and radius 1 meter resting on a floor as shown in the figure. If the disc rolls without slipping on the floor, the linear acceleration in meter per second square of the center of the disc is that we have to determine. So, what the data is given is a disc is given which is of mass 10 kg, which is of radius 1 meter, and a force of 100 Newton is applied, a force of 100 Newton is applied at the center of the disc. Now, there is no information about this mu, coefficient of friction, there is no information about this mu. So, that is the problem actually, because uh, to get the value of the acceleration, acceleration of the center, linear acceleration of the center, this mu is required and it is the case of pure rolling. So, in case of pure rolling without coefficient of friction, without this friction, pure rolling is not possible. So, like for the case of pure ruling, definitely there must be some friction. So, let us start with the problem by drawing free body diagram for this. So, free body diagram will include the weight of the disc that is 10 multiplied by 9.81 Newton, normal reaction to the disc and some frictional force. Now, this frictional force we do not know, but what we know, we know this normal reaction. How? Summation of forces along y direction if you put equal to 0 because y direction there is no motion of the disc. So, easily we can write this as plus n minus 98.1 is equal to 0 that is normal reaction is equal to 98.1 Newton. Now, we know the value of normal reaction. Now, what to do? Without coefficient of static friction or kinetic friction we cannot find the value of frictional force. So, that is equals to mu n. So, instead of writing it mu n, I will directly write this as frictional force. Now, just apply Newton's second law to the translation. Newton's second law for translation, if you apply summation of forces is equals to mass times acceleration. This acceleration I am talking about acceleration of the center. This acceleration of C I am talking about. So, net forces in horizontal direction, if you see, I am applying this equation along horizontal direction, see, 100 minus frictional force is equals to mass multiplied by acceleration. So, that is our first equation here, here. Acceleration we have to determine, but frictional force we do not know, that is the unknown. So, somehow we have to eliminate this frictional force so that we can get the value of this acceleration. Now, for that what we need to do? We need to apply again one more time, look at this, how we can get the value of frictional force. So, for that, look at this. If you take moment about center, if you take moment about center, then N is passing through the center, weight is passing through the center and this 100 Newton is again passing through the center. That is the reason this is rolling. Because of this frictional force only, that rotating torque will be provided by the frictional force only, which is responsible for the rotation. If friction force is not there, then it will only translate on its axis. It won't rotate. Rotational torque is provided by the, about the center is provided by the frictional force only. So, frictional force we can get by taking moment about this C point. So, we will use Newton's second law for rotation that is net moment is equals to I times alpha that alpha is angular acceleration. Now, in this equation what, if, what, what is important thing is moment you are going to take about center. So, moment of inertia also you need to take about the center. Both should be taken about C point. Now, what is next? Next is take moment about C. You will only get frictional force multiplied by the radius and that is clockwise, that is clockwise. So, this is equals to IC. Now, for a disc, if this is given as a disc, circular disc is given the problem. 
So for this moment of inertia is m r square by 2 multiplied by angular acceleration. But it is again given as the case of pure rolling. So for the case of pure rolling, for the case of pure rolling, always remember V is equals to R omega and A is equals to R alpha. In case of pure rolling, A is equals to R alpha. So alpha can be replaced by A upon R. So if you have a look at this, now see, check this. This R will get cancelled out from the equation. A value we will get as, this A value will get as or frictional force will get as fr is equals to m a by 2 and this mass is nothing but 10 that is 5 a that is the value of frictional force so what we'll do this equation we label as second equation that is relating frictional force with linear acceleration of the center of the disc so this fr value will put over there in first equation so putting fr in equation 1 what will get 100 minus that 5a is equals to 100 minus 5a is equals to 100 minus 5a is equals to 10 into acceleration now this 100 will be equals to 15a that means acceleration will be equals to 100 by 15 and 100 by 15 if you calculate your answer will be 6.67 meter per second square so that was the part we need not to worry for this frictional force we have to eliminate this frictional force one more thing is important here if in the problem to confuse you people they would have not given the radius of the disc. Then also this problem can be solved. Like they have not mentioned anywhere coefficient of friction force. In the same manner, look at this. Even the radius of the disc was not required. Nowhere we have kept the value of radius of the disc because it is being eliminated from the equation. So that are the areas where we need to be very careful in the problems of engineering mechanics. Fine. Thank you.